I looked out in the yard this morning and I saw this and I was like, oh no, it's a dead chicken. We've only had him two days. But it actually turns out it's just this, it's this apron from the place that we got all that compost at. Brianna's actually sick. She's kind of been just feeling puny on and off for a few days. But yesterday, Christmas day, really from like one o'clock on, she felt awful. She actually was in on the couch all afternoon. Anyway, so she's really down and out. I actually called into work today. I hate calling into work. I called into work today. She has not gotten off the couch except to go to the bathroom since like one o'clock yesterday. So she's still on the couch. I'm super late letting the chickens out. I just ran out here. I'm gonna let them out because I've been changing diapers, giving baths. Come on, let's go out chickens. Come on out everybody. Sorry for being so late. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everyone out. Who's the last one out? <laughs> You're slow poke. Breakfast time for the chickens. Don't worry, there's plenty for everyone. I promise. How are you, Donald? You feel at home yet? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I need to give them their fish meal. But for right now, I'm going back inside to take care of munchkins because munchkins need taking care of. The baby needs to go down for a nap right now. Hey, honey. We have a stomach bug, Justice and I do. It's not fun. All right, buddy, let's try to take a nap. Or... Try, can you lay your head down? Can you lay your head down and take a nap? Or... Shh, shh, shh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Justice is playing with Christmas presents. Do you need anything right now? Water. Water? Okay. With a little orange juice as ordered. So the baby's down for his nap. So I have a few minutes. I'm going to check on the chickens. I have three things that I want to get done today. One of them, of course, I've got to take care of Brianna. She's feeling really bad. I also want to one, check in and make sure that I'm taking really good care of these chickens. I'm gonna check Justin's feed recipe, make sure I'm on track with that. Um, the other thing I need to do is tomorrow we're having a big work day. My family's actually gonna come up here. We're gonna have a little bit of a late Christmas celebration, exchange some gifts, but we're also getting ready for goats. We're getting dwarf Nigerian goats probably in two weeks. So I need to get the barn ready. That's it, the three things. Take care of Brianna. Check the chickens, get ready for, getting ready for goats. I've got my food scraps here, some leftover food, and some ham that I accidentally left out overnight, just a few pieces from Christmas. The charger is working 100%. It's been three days, well, yet, uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas were totally overcast. And with a solar powered fence charger, you can lose your charge if you have many overcast days back to back. So I was a little worried about that. So far, our charge is holding. I'm really pleased with that. And the fence is hot. There you go. Donald's getting his. Do you like oatmeal, Donald? Need to get some clean water. That's better. All right, here's all of our feed. I'm just running through Justin's notes for mixing this feed. I still need to give them their fish meal and their Nutribalancer. We're gonna get them some kelp. Here, you carry that. Don't don't spill it. That goes. That goes inside the chicken pen. Don't dump it out. My chores just got a little bit more interesting because I have some helpers out here. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, put it in there. Good work, buddy. 
So the one other thing I need to do for the chickens today is I need to get them some grit. I'm gonna throw this right on top of this big compost pile and they can just find it as they need it. Hey Obama. How's it going Obama? Donald, are you okay? It'll be okay. Why? Transitions are hard. Kai is eating a little bit of pumpkin. Jump. You wanna turn the fence on? Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna soak their grains for their feed tomorrow. Don't you think it was funny that this apron was in all that compost? It's kind of got me thinking, you know, I've got the chickens, now I've got an apron. Well, never mind. Hey, Aria, buddy. All right, done with the chickens. I need to head inside and make sure things aren't coming apart in there and make some lunch. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Toys, boxes, there's a kid climbing. What are you doing up there? Get down. I can play oh, If you want Play-Doh, get sit down at the table. Yeah. Play-Doh time. Yay, yeah, Play-Doh time. Play-Doh time is really fun, isn't it? Yeah. We're making a store, right? Oh, what are you going to sell in your store? All kinds of goodies. The house is kind of a mess, but you have to prioritize. And with kids, when it's lunchtime, it's lunchtime, it's lunchtime, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Look at that. You got some yummy food. Brighton is eating oatmeal, squash, oatmeal. and applesauce. Yummy? Oh, thank you, sir. Over here, I'm making grilled cheese with ham. Looking good. It's lunchtime. One, two, three. I mean, I think this is a story of failure on my part. I just can't deal with all the tasks and the high speed pace of this job of mommyhood. But it's also honestly a tribute, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, I think this is worth saying again and again. It's a tribute to the hard work that moms, and I guess stay-at-home dads too, but moms do every day. And this is what I've been challenged by today, is doing the jobs of a mommy, taking care of the kids, cooking meals, dealing with rascals, and um, vlogging at the same time, shooting a video at the same time. I don't know how she does it. I mean, I haven't shot any footage for like three hours and I've been totally busy the whole time. Hi Brianna, sorry you're feeling so bad. I'm actually feeling a little better now. I mean, I've been sleeping for like 24 hours. You have slept all day long. I've never, ever seen you sleep so much. I know. Not one time. I know. I think I'm back to sleep now. Grace wants to show off something she got for Christmas. Can you get that out, Gracie? What is it? Pocket knife. A pocket knife. It's called the Sodbuster Junior, and it's a great little pocket knife for a starter knife. It's not too big and it's not too expensive. Case knives are pretty expensive, but this one's one of the more affordable ones. But it's high quality, it's stainless steel, plastic handle, kind of hard to beat up. Did you have a little safety class on how to use it? Have you cut anything yet? What have you cut? Um, a wise man made out of a carrot. I'm proud to give that to you. I think you're growing up and I think you're ready for that. Be careful closing it, that's the most dangerous part. So things have come kind of full circle. Brianna very kindly kicked us out of the house. She said, you all need to get out there again and get your energy out. So we're out here, the kids are shutting up the chickens. So I didn't get the goat prep workday prep done today that I wanted to. Um, that's okay, I've got some hours in the morning before everyone shows up, kind of line out jobs for my family to do tomorrow when they come out to help. The cats are in here with all the chicken food I noticed that they were nibbling on 
the fish meal a little bit. Now you might think that bothers me, but it really doesn't because I'll tell you what, the cat's job right now in here, they're hanging out in here, is to keep the mice out of this feed. These cats are great hunters and they've really picked it up in the last couple weeks of cold weather. I'm gonna show you the proof. There's the remains of a mouse. Here's the remains of a mouse. Here's the remains of a mouse. You can see there's bones in there. This one's a couple weeks old. And here's one more. This one's right by the house. Let's get this one out of here. So this is really gross, but it means the cats are doing their work. All of those they've killed in just like the past three weeks. All right, so we're gonna call it a day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. Check out tomorrow's video. We're gonna have a great family work day and get a bunch done getting ready for the goats so we can get them soon before they have their babies.